Welcome to TRS Clips. Just know we've built this channel so that you binge watch the entire podcast through the highlights of different episodes. Like this video, but first enjoy it. If we zoom out a little bit, okay? Mm. This is your one life as Amish Tripathi. But this is not your only life of your soul. You've had lives before. You're yeah. probably going to have lives after unless you go around a deep kriya yoga path and then start meditating and gain so moksha. So calm the this. shit down. <laughs> That's the point. No, I, I mean, I also, yes, uh -huh. that, uh, you know, I have yet BK Shivani on the show. Uh -huh. And I asked her, what's the purpose of space? Uh -huh. Why does the universe, why do all these stars and galaxies exist? Uh -huh. And she gave a long explanation, but my takeaway was that it's kind of God's way of saying, hey, you know, your problems are like really small. <laughs> like that there's a lot of other stuff out there. Huh. Now, when you actually zoom out of uh, your perspective of life in mm. this lifetime as a man, and you look at your overall lifetimes as a soul, I want to understand suffering from there. None of us could have been completely clean people in all our lifetimes. We all would have done mistakes. That's why we're still in this realm yeah. uh, do you think of the higher realm do you think of what's next because you're diving into these subjects of shiva and mm. vishnu and seventh uh, mm. seven planes etc and this is something i've been thinking about so much that mm. why the fuck am i trying to make money <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the thing is what is you know what is the purpose of your life is it to earn money or actually do something which gives your life purpose. Right? I feel if you think that the purpose of your life is to make money, uh, you're wasting time and not pursuing the actual purpose, which is getting the hell out of here. Okay, let me let me tell you a few things the way our ancestors look at it. But before that, let me tell you something intriguing because you know most of your listeners would of course know Lord of the Rings mm. and uh, would know Game of Thrones. Now, see the life story of the person who wrote the Lord of the Rings trilogy, J.R.R. Tolkien. He passed through, he, he went through the wars, the world wars, right? He lost many friends in there. He genuinely suffered, right? But you look at his books, they're all of nobility, of, you know, strong characters, both, both male and female, uh, you know, of, of the right way to live, moralistic, right? Uh, and you see uh, George R. R. Martin, right? Among the, he's a baby boomer. Among the most privileged generations in human history. He dodged the draft from what one knows. He never saw war. Very peaceful, very wonderful life. And look at his books. Dark, lack of morality. Almost, there are almost no character who has any you know, real nobility who will not let circumstances make him or her do things which he knows he should not do. Mm. Right? So is it that suffering makes a person noble? Is that the lesson? From yeah. J.R.R. Tolkien. And is it that you've had no real problems, so you think, yeah, there are no morals. Do whatever the hell you want. Do you right? have any input to that question? There is suffering exists for a purpose. That's what I was, you know, saying in from a little, suffering actually makes you noble. Like I said, resistance makes your soul stronger. Mm. Right? Uh, if you get so much suffering that your soul just breaks, yes, that's and that happens to some people. Sometimes you just can't handle it anymore. But okay. if you have no real suffering, you know, yeah, then. Like, like what you see in Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. No one has any sense of morality, mm. you know, out there. And how will you build a good world like that? Mm. Going back to this, uh, you know, the thing of making money. One of our, uh, one of our uh, principles, our ancestors used to say, was that to lead a good life, you need to follow the four Purusharthas, right? Uh, and you need to find balance between all four of them. Purush, uh, in this context, is not male. Purush is life energy and artha, right? So, what are the four Purusharthas? The first is Artha, which is wealth, power, you know, you need that, right? So, and India was a poor country for many centuries and frankly, no one, no one cared about how deep our philosophies were, right? So, you need Artha. Then you need Kama and Kama is misread as just eroticism. It's not that. It's all the sensual pleasures of life, music, dance, everything which makes life beautiful, which brings out the rasas of life, right? Which brings you out need, our feel-good hormones. Exactly. You need that too. Third, you need dharma, right? And dharma is erroneously translated as religion very often. Dharma is that which balances, that which sustains, that which is the right thing to do, mm. right? That's what dharma is. So if you're making money by doing smuggling, that's not dharma, right? Uh, and the fourth is moksha, uh, which is not to die. And there, there is no you know ultimate kingdom where you'll have fairies forever. I mean, the... And in this concept, right? 
you you want to have a death which ends all deaths right because among uh, there's this lovely line socrates had said that death may be the greatest of all human blessings mm. but actually the greatest blessing is a death to end all deaths mm. when you don't have to die again and again and again you need to find that balance so that you can get moksha you can get nirvana so our ancestors believed that you need all four you need artha you need kama you need dharma you need moksha and when you have all four then it's a good life right and all four in balance you find so many people who just focusing on earning money right they're not enjoying the rasas of life there's no dharma in their life they are so unhappy right uh if and you find someone who just says i'm going to give it all up you know and live in the mountains live in a cave but they're actually thinking about their friends who are you know partying are they happy too mm. right uh so you need a balance of all four that's what our ancestors told us if you enjoyed this video here's a playlist full of videos kind of related to the one that you just saw enjoy